hi student today we discuss about animal classification so in the animal classification characters we discuss like uh, organization what is organization so from uh, porifera to cordata uh, there is a cell cellular level to the organ system level different type of organization cellular level tissue level organ and organ system what is symmetry so symmetry are uh, three type radial symmetry asymmetrical and bilateral symmetry what is radial symmetry in the radial symmetry organism are divided into the equal half when cut to the any plane through central of the axis that is called radial symmetry present in the uh, nidarians and tinophora bilateral symmetry cut uh, organism are divided into equal half cut to one plane through the central axis not any plane that is called bilateral symmetry present in the platyhelminthes eschelminthes and larvae of echinoderms that is silom silom that is called presence absence of the body cavity in the body and the gut wall that is called silom silom different type a silom pseudo silom and silom germ layer germ layer are generally three type ecto endo and meso organism are diploblastic containing two germ layer ecto and endo and three germ layer the triploblastic endo in uh, ecto meso and endo first we discuss the phylum porifera porifera means pores bearing animals that is called sponges they are marine exclusively marine fish in living water marine water they are uh, outer covering made up of spongin fibers or spicules that is porifera most peculiar feature of this phylum that is containing uh, conocyte or collar cells and the cavity that is present that is called uh, spongocele uh, cavity organization that is cellular level of organization present in the porifera and they are asymmetrical what is type and asymmetrical silomy does not present so in the porifera the the canal system very important feature that is canal system they containing small pores called ostia and osculum through the ostia through the ostia the water are entered and through the osculum they are released out and the lining is called conocyte or collar cells and this cavity is called spongocele very important so this canal system help to uh, adhere the food particles and uh, removal of substance that is function of canal system porifera that is uh, spongilla spongia uh, uh, euspongia that is example of porifera next we move to the nidaria also called cylindrate very important so in the nidarian they having a, a organization that is tissue level type uh, body organization and symmetry that is radial what type of symmetry radial symmetry divided into the equal half when cut to the any plane to the central axis and germ layer that is diploblastic diplo means two germ layer ecto and endo are present mesoderm are absent and the uh, absence of mesoderm there is a cavity called mesoglia present that is a feature of nidaria and another important feature, peculiar feature of nidaria they are called nidaria because they having nidoblast cells nidoblast what is type nidoblast they are stinging cells that uh, present in the tentacles the mitocyst capsule which help to capture the prey and also in defense that is called the mitocyst very important so uh, in the nidaria when you see there are two life form that is called polyp and medusa very important polyp that is a long cylindrical structure which fixed to the substratum that means they are sessile and tentacles upward that is called polyp present in the hydrid and adamsia medusa that is umbrella in shape free living swimming and uh, tentacle downwards that is called polyp and medusa another feature of nidarian they having blind sac body plan only one opening that is mouth are present in a thigepsian that is called blind sac body plan very important example of nidarian aurelia that is jellyfish hydra um, that is uh, and uh, penatula um, physelia portuguese mine of far and etc next there is tinophora that is also radial symmetry and uh, that are having diploblastic and uh, 
टीनोफोरा इज कंटेनिंग कॉम्प्लेट्स कार्टो का कॉम जेली विच हेल्प इन द लोकोमोशन एंड दिस टीनोफोरा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर दैट इज बायोल्यूमिशन बायोल्यूमिशन मीन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम हैविंग एबिलिटी टू इमिट द लाइट दैट इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ टीनोफोरन नेक्स्ट प्लेटी हेलमेन थी प्लेटी वट यू मीन ऑफ प्लेटी दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्लैट वम्स दे आर हेलमेन हेलमेन दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्लैट वम्स सो इन द प्लेटी हेलमेन थी the body organization that is organ level which type of organ and the symmetry that is bilateral what is what type of symmetry bilateral in the bilateral you know, one plane uh, through the central is this or with the multi divided into the two halves that is called bilateral symmetry and coelom that is a coelom a coelomate very important and germ layer that is triploblastic three germ layers are present in platyhelminth so what is the uh, another features of platyhelminth the platyhelminth that is endoparasites and uh, uh, that is uh, endoparasites that is living in the uh, endoparasites that is living in the uh, endoparasites that is living in the 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 so in the platy helminth the like liver fluke uh, and blood fluke are like tinea solium and fasciola hepatic are present another feature that they having excretory organs uh, that are like called phlegm cells which help in the removal of waste material and excretion very, very important next eschelminth platy helminth is another feature that is also hermaphrodite that sexes are not separated eschelminth is that is uh, round uh, round worms like eschelis so uh, organization that is organ system level system are developed so elementary canal are developed that is called muscular pharynx very important symmetry that is also bilateral symmetry and coelom that is very important pseudo coelom coelomate pseudo means false coelom no mean of false coelom that is uh, coelom are scattered in the pouch pouch like structure throughout the meso that is called uh, pseudo coelomate present in the eschelminth is very important the sexes are separated uh, th- that means they are diocesous or uh, unisexual male are smaller than the female very important and three germ layer the triploblastic ecto endo and meso three germ layers are present so we, uh, that is a important features of animal classification from any leader to power data we discuss in the next lecture Uh, make a proper table or, or you should note down point wise thank you